two of the ego as a projection machine and I wanted to focus now on the eyes because I thought that was kind of interesting to me at least in this in this whole theory and concept so uh, the first uh, point here is that um, you know are the eyes working the way that we think they are? Are they working independently initially? So in other words, we wake up in the morning, the first thing we do is we look and we see, and we see something, and then we uh, translate that, and it comes back. Okay, pretty simple concept. Um, my, my thought here is that we think that the eyes are actually initiating the transaction, so to speak. So in other words, they're physically seeing something, taking it in, and then shooting it back to the brain. Okay? Pretty easy concepts the way we're th we think things work. But the question is, is, is it the ego that's actually shooting out the thought, and then we then, then the eyes, coming through the eyes that the thought is coming out, and we're looking at it, and then the eyes are receiving what the thought actually is, so it's coming right back in, except it comes back in with other factors. Okay, so in other words, if we wake up in the morning and we expect to see um, our bedroom, that we're in our bedroom, so we wake up and the eyes shoot out the bedroom scene, and then what happens is that we're now, the eyes then, Look at the bedroom scene and then shoot the information back. Now, if, if your dog walks into the bedroom, then that's an added feature. The ego has allowed for that added feature. And then it comes back. So in other words, if, uh, and that's a twist too about how the universe is very complex and works with us. It still works the same way. So in other words, if, if conceptually we have in the ego, the ego is saying, there's maybe, I don't know, pick a number, uh, 200 options that could take place in this bedroom. And one of them would be that the dog would walk in, or a cat, or whatever. So your dog walks in, that matches the options in that, in that uh, option list. And so therefore, then the eyes see that, and they see the dog, and they make a note of it, and it shoots it right back to ego. The ego translates it, it says, okay, that's fine, there's no problem there, I'm okay with that. Now, if you do not believe in UFOs, in fact, you, you are absolutely convinced that UFOs don't exist, um, you will never see a UFO enter into your bedroom. The eyes won't be able to translate that. Even if on a third level we could demonstrate that, uh, that a gray or an alien is in your room right now at that time. Okay, So someone else comes by the room. Uh, let's say another family member, the ego's okay with that, and they say, oh, by the way, here's my friend, the gray, the alien, and you say, I don't see anything, what's wrong with you? And the reason why you don't see anything with this concept is that your ego has can't conceive of it. And so if it can't conceive of it, or even conceive of it as an option, they will never be able, your eyes will never be able to translate that. That's, that's one concept, and I really believe that, that is, that's how it works. Okay, We have examples of this through history uh, when uh, settlers land on islands and some of the people can see the settlers and some can't, or some can see the ships and some can't, because it takes a while for them to, for one person to see it, understand it, describe it, and then it works its way through mass consciousness uh, on that island, and then everybody can, is okay with the conception. So, very again, add that feature to your one-week uh, study of this concept, and let's see how that works. And write some notes and email me back and let me know how it works out and see if maybe you're seeing things that you didn't see before. How about that? Wouldn't that make life interesting? Maybe that is what life's all about. Uh, expanding, expansion of the, your environment of who you are, your reality, expanding your reality. I think that's a really good example of expanding your reality.